We were leaving in 1996. Um, we'd been, I'd been, I was in ISKCON in like 92, 91, 92. And uh, we first heard of Gurdjieff because the GBC in ISKCON, they were going to, um, they were hearing from Srila Gurdjieff. They were going, um, our GBC, he was listening, the temple president, he was going, you know, Shamarani to India. to India, and they were associating with Gurudev because, as we know, Gurudev has been friends with Prabhupada for so long mm -hmm. and helped for so long. So, the history that Samadhi, Gurudev put um, Prabhupada in Samadhi. So, and from that time, Gurudev would go to ISKCON. So, that association was there, but we didn't know much about it. Mm -hmm. You know, us uh, small people joining in the 90s, so much longer. But we knew that they were hearing from them until they got banned by the GBC. Um, because uh, I think it was some kind of movement they were going to try and bring Gurudev into ISKCON, you know, mm -hmm. and help ISKCON. And there, so there was this political backlash. And those RGBCs were banned from, from, from um, going to Vrindavan because they would go to see Gurudev. Yeah. So that's the first we heard. And, and then they started this propaganda that Gurudev was against Prabhupada and this and that. And um, I'd also asked about a Gaudiya mat in ISKCON. And the temple president said, oh, the Prabhupada said the Gaudiya Mata are just ringing bells and things like that. So, I didn't know much about it. But we heard, the first thing we heard about Gurudev was that he was against Prabhupada. Mm -hmm. So we're like, oh, mm -hmm. Krishna, was, Krishna will smash this Narayan Maharaj. I, that's what I was my first thinking, you know, because if he is, if he is mm -hmm. against Prabhupada. So that was that. And then, um, but then I, got, I became more disillusioned with Iskon as the time went by. This was unhappy. So um, I moved out of the temple and then Gurudev came to England at that time. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how I heard about it, but we just heard about it. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, I was living in Bath at that time and Budara was like, Are you gonna, you're going to go and see Narayan Raj, right? And I'm like, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm planning to go. Mm -hmm. So we went up to London and Gurudev was at the back of the manor in 1996. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it was his first time in England. He came to Holland, then he came to, to, um, to England. And he went to the manor, and he gave, we gave a class uh, near the manor. They hired a little hall, mm -hmm. and then uh, I I rolled up in my carmy clothes, you know, and saw Gurudev with his turban, you know, because he's not not uh, Iskong Gurus they don't they're not big on turbans so much, you know, but Gurudev had his turban, mm -hmm. and he was sat on the stage, and I I did my dandavats and just sort of sat there and listened. And Gurudev started speaking this. Um, just giving Harry Kitab, he's speaking, um, just remembering, he's quoting uh, Sarva Dharma Pritigya Mami Kam Sanambraja in Bhagavad Gita. And uh, I'd heard that, so we've heard that slok so many times. It's, you know, it's a well known sloka, but when Gurudev said it, it was just like Shabda Brahm. It's like, like illuminates, like fireworks in your heart. You know, abandon you know, world, this world, you know, take full shelter of Krishna. So, yeah, that was the first time I met Gurudev. And, then Madhav Maharaj, who was Naveen, and he was prompting Gurudev, and we're like, who's this guy, like, <laughs> prompting Gurudev with words, and Gurudev was like, all right, you know, because Gurudev, but Naveen was very keen, you know, because he was also on the first tour, and he was very enthusiastic. So, um, and then I think it was uh, Budara introduced me to Gurudev, and he said, this is back to John. He's been distributing Prabhupada's books every day for five years, you know, and I'm just like, and then Gurudev just went, Please try and learn something from the books. And I was just like straight off the bat. It was like, it was like, you know, you brought me, brought me back to size. And then, uh, yeah, but as soon as I saw Gurudev, then that was, that was I just knew uh, for me that Shabda Brahma was like, here's my guru. Gurudev on that tour, he, he finished in London. He went down to Bath and stayed at Budaras. And I, I used to live in opposite Budara. So I had all the entourage in my house, you know. Um, yeah, a whole bunch of them. Gurudev stayed in Pradara's house and then uh, Prem Vala, the early guys, Prem Vilas, Navadweep, um, you know, Madhusudan stayed with me, mm. Pundarit came and stayed, you know, so I had a whole bunch of them in my place. Yeah, and then Gurudev gave these talks and we had these big kirtans in Pradara's house and his house was just, Pradara was freaking out because the floor was just going, <laughs> you know. And anyway, that, and then Gurudev went down to Glastonbury. Uh -huh. Uh, and that was incredible, seeing Gurudev in Glastonbury, that was really special. I think some, you probably root around some photos of that, Madame, Madame Mohan took some nice photos. Mm -hmm. Gurudev was like a, like a wizard there, you know, because Glastonbury in England is quite a mystical kind of place. And, um, yeah, just, 
there was this, the assembly rooms or something like that, I think mm -hmm. they're called yeah. in Glastonbury. Yeah. And then just we got there early and then Gurudev came, walked down this cobbled ancient road, you know, like mm -hmm. just there's a sort of a walkway. And at that time he had this hoodie, you know, he was wearing a, a pink hoodie yeah. with his, and that time he carried his dando in those yeah, years. Right. And he had his entourage with him, and he and he his eyebrows were kind of arched like this, you know, <laughs> and his and his uh, yeah. come strands of that, and just such a wise, you know, how Gurudev. But back then, I don't know, because health was stronger then, you know, as Gurudev got older and older, and he seemed to like show that pastime of age and mm -hmm. leaving this world. But there, at that point, he was he was like this, powerful. like this. I mean, he was always powerful, but he's just like a just like a wizard you know at that point with this like you know none shall pass <laughs> it was like it was like he just he, he was like this you know this philosophy is krishna consciousness he was just like he was like this mega powerful guru coming you know in, into england of all places and coming into glastonbury of all places and yeah. and so um it was just unbelievable the presence that guru dave had and and the command that you know the uh um sankarshan shakti the attractive potency that he had of just Drawing. magnetically drawing yeah. Yeah. devotees from all over England mm. and all over Europe and even it was the first tour so more they just come from Holland actually come from Holland just before mm. so some Dutch devotees were there Brajanath Ravu and Vrinda Didi and, and mm. Gopinath and maybe a few others um, yeah so that was just really phenomenal so we followed Gurudev on that tour and then he went off to America for the first America tour